I think part of what the U.S. is trying to do and the opposition is to see if there are fundamental cracks within the military that would facilitate their strategy. Um, that, again, would lead to a coup d'etat. Um, that, I think, would not be the best outcome for Venezuela. I, I insist, if we continue to ratchet up uh, this brinksmanship, uh, we run the risk of exacerbating this crisis and of seeing violence. And I think we, the, the, we should try to avoid the violence. I think the best-case solution is to find some process by which negotiations and discussions can take place. Um, we can have cooler heads prevail and begin to have a conversation in which we recognize the presence of the other. Because if there are elections tomorrow, and if the, if the government wins, the opposition will not recognize. If the opposition win, the Chavista supporters will not recognize. That's a stalemate. We have to be able to break those loggerheads and find solutions in which, long term, Venezuelans come to term with the presence of the other other in society and recognize the humanity of the other and find dialogue and a peaceful solution to this crisis.